Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and I am back with another Pandora video. So if you haven't um, gotten used to my stackers view box here, you may be surprised to know it is not my only jewelry box. I also have my little, my little travel box that I've reviewed for you guys before. And I have a brand new box. So recently mom and I went on a cruise, which we do often, we love cruising, um, and we went actually out of California this time. So we flew out to Long Beach, and then we went to Puerto Vallarta, Mazatlan, and Cabo San Lucas. And when you cruise, sometimes it can be really hard to know um, where the Pandora store is. If there is a Pandora store, sometimes I've actually seen Pandora on ships. I've bought Pandora on ships. Um, and I've also bought Pandora in a port. And while I love to buy charms on a trip because you can get exclusives, you can get things that maybe aren't available in your country. But the main thing is I like to buy charms as memories. So to commemorate something. And so I buy a lot of charms on trips to commemorate the things we're doing on that trip. So that being said, as my mom says, the Pandora store is supposed to be an accent to what we're doing, not the main event. And sometimes searching for the Pandora store can really become the main event. So I try really hard to look in advance to see, is there one in the port? Is there not one in the port? Is it a quick taxi ride away? Is it like hours away? Um, and sometimes that is really hard to do. So for this trip, we went on the Panorama. There is not, as of right now, a Pandora on the Panorama. I do think I'm gonna to try to make um, a, a video for you guys about all of the Carnival ships. I only cruise Carnival, so I don't know about other um, companies, but all of the Pandora stores on ships that I know of. Obviously, I haven't been on all of them. I'm gonna to try to do some research in some groups and find um, from other people about the ships I don't know of, but my mom works for Carnival, probably. I think most of you know that by now. So she's been on a lot more ships than I have. And it's just, it's interesting to me to know. And if there is Pandora available on the ship, then you don't always need to go search for it in port. But since this trip was really memorable for me. We did a lot of things that I've been really wanting to do, like go whale watching. We went swimming with sea lions. We went swimming with dolphins. Um, it was a really fun trip. And we actually, we went with one of my mom's friends who's also an avid Pandora collector. So we went searching for the Pandora store way more than mom would normally want to do. And mom actually bought four charms. Maybe I can convince her to come show you hers someday. But regardless, this is getting to be a long intro. I'm going to put some pictures up here on the screen with a voiceover. But essentially, while there was a store in Long Beach about seven minutes from the cruise terminal that you could have got there by taxi, there was a store in each of the ports. So for the first store, which was Puerto Vallarta, the Pandora store was not within the port. It was not within walking distance of the port. I'm going to put a little map here on the screen. We actually um, could not find out where it was. I was having a hard time even Googling it the night before. We finally um, asked a nice man in a Diamonds International, surprise, surprise, not a Pandora man at all. And he told us, take a taxi to this location it is the Playa de Isla. I believe that's how you say it. And he wrote it on our map. You can see here and he marked it. He said, take a taxi right here. It's about a 10 minute taxi drive from the port. It was $5 for the taxi fare to take all three of us there. So that's not bad and it's not super out of the way. Um, and the Pandora store is actually in the mall there. So you'll have to go in the mall and then find the Pandora store. The mall itself has a map, um, a directory, so it's really easy to find. The store is rather small, but 
they did have exclusive country charms and they had actually a lot of retired pieces I ended up getting because they were having their 50% off sale. Uh, so I will show you all of those charms. Then the next stop we went was um, Mazatlan. And in Mazatlan, we did not go to the Pandora store. We actually, I had Googled it the night before and it was about 30 minutes away by taxi. So we decided that was a little too far um, and it would make it more of the destination and not part of the destination. So we skipped the Pandora store in Mazatlan, but I will try to put a um, screenshot of the Google map that I found that shows where the store is in regards to where the port is if anybody does want to make that trip. And then the third store was actually in Cabo San Lucas. Now here is the picture of the walking map of that port. Now this port is crazy. It is the biggest port I've ever been to that was just all shops, all walking. We went whale watching here and so we weren't sure if we'd get to the Pandora store or not. Um, and as you can see from the walking map, you come in on a ferry, it's a ferry tender port. Um, and then the Pandora store is literally the farthest store around the map. Um, it took about 45 minutes of walking to get to the Pandora store. If Miss Kathy hadn't have wanted to go, I don't know if I would have made it. But we did make it. Um, and they actually had four Cabo San Lucas exclusive charms there, which was really nice. I picked one up. I will show you. But they also had several retired charms and they also were having their 50% off sale. So I got a few of those as well. Um, to be clear, for the first stop at Puerto Vallarta, I did not get either of those country exclusive charms because they were a little dangle Viva Mexico charm. I'll try to find a picture. It had a sombrero. It was cute, but it was $100 US and it did not say Puerto Vallarta. If it had said the actual port, I probably would have gotten it. And then they had the country exclusive of the Guadalupe um, dangle, which was also $100 US. Again, I prefer, if I'm gonna get an exclusive, I kinda want it to say where it's from or be a representation somehow of what we've done on that trip. So neither of those hit that mark for me. Um, and I was really hoping to get a charm in Cabo San Lucas since that's where we went whale watching. So the charms in Cabo, they had four, two dangles that had skulls on them, surprisingly. Um, one that was a heart and just said Cabo. And then the one I got, which says Cabo and has a little Marlin on it. All four of them were $50 US. So this was a very long intro. So we are going to go ahead and get started. All of my charms are in my new jewelry box, which was a promotion that they were doing in Mexico. So I was actually really excited because they do not have, this is the medium pink jewelry box. They do not have this in the US. I have never seen it here. Um, I've seen it as a promotion in the UK and I've seen it in the Netherlands and Australia. I tried Googling to see where it's available. I didn't find any information. But I got mine from Mexico and Puerto Vallarta. When you spent 260 US, it was the free promotion. So I got one, my mom got one, and Miss Kathy got one. We spent a lot of money. It's beautiful, and I'm going to show you the entire jewelry box as well. So if you stuck it out through this entire intro, thank you. We are going to open the jewelry box now. I'm going to show you all the terms that I bought while we were on the trip. Let's get started. Gotta point you guys at the at the jewelry box now. <laughs> All right, y'all. Are you ready? I am so excited. So this is the jewelry box itself. And when you open it up, you have this entire layer, which lifts out. It's a little hard to do while holding the top up on camera. But this comes out. This, if it's not in there, can have this layer nestled right in here. Or if you turn this around, it is a mirror. Look, there you guys are. How cute. And me. 
I like that it's a mirror since I do want to use this for traveling. That is really nice. But this is the main layer. And then down here, I have dun, 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 this little pouch. It's empty. This came with it. Um, you can put whatever you want in here. I had a necklace in here for my trip. And then I have just a polishing cloth because I find that half the time if I'm on a cruise and I say um, I buy a new charm and I want to go put it on my bracelet, half the bracelet and the charms on my bracelet need a polish before I put a new one on there. They don't look half as shiny. And then up here, I have one, two, three, four spots where you can put a bracelet or you can put a necklace or you can put whatever you like. I think I'm going to keep my open oh, and I travel, keep it up here as well. And then Lily's very excited. Tuck the chain down in here. So I think that is kind of my plan. So this does fit under here. It does not fit perfectly because it has those two little sides. So just keep that in mind. But I have, I've got this bracelet in Mazatlan and it is just a bracelet. It's not Pandora obviously, but I just, I really liked it. And I thought it would be pretty to wear on cruises. So I bought it, but because it has this tail here, it, it does fit in the box, but it doesn't fit perfectly. So I keep it here and it does all fit perfectly as long as I take that mirror out. But this is not Pandora, so, you know, keep that in mind. But this was, like I said, in Mazatlan. Oh, Lily has come to play with us. And the girl wanted 45 for it. I talked it down to 20 and it is silver. It has hallmarks on it, but I don't remember where somewhere in here. Regardless from there, I have in here, we'll go over the non Pandora things first. So Carnival has started their own line of charms. Um, and I bought these on the ship. This one is the special Christmas charms. This was $10 for the bracelet and all three charms. This is the actual charms, cruise charms, and the, the bracelet and the first five charms. So the anchor, the sun, the love block, the drink, and the camera were $10. From there, the heart was $5 on the first port day. The ship wheel was $5 on the second port day. And if you had all seven of these, you got the present for free on the last day. So this is Carnival's little charm thing that they're doing right now. I am not sure if that means they're going to stop having Pandora on the ships because I have bought several Pandora pieces on the ships, different ones. Um, they are, well, let's just say like you can see from the clasp here how it's slightly offline and how I can just pop it open. Like if you hold this bracelet, just the bracelet versus a Pandora bracelet, like this bracelet empty is almost the same weight as this with seven or eight charms on it. They're nice. They're cheap. I would wear these into a port where I might lose them. Whereas I will not wear my Pandora into a port, but they're definitely like, like I would let a kid wear this. I would, I would feel perfectly comfortable giving this to a five-year-old. If she loses it, it was literally 20 bucks. Um, that being said, as cute as they are, and for 20 bucks, I'll, I wear them into port. I enjoy them, but they are what they are. They are definitely not Pandora. So, yeah. On the other hand, 
these are my <laughs> Diamonds International charms I got from this trip um, and some of my other trips. I gotta, gotta put them all on my bracelet. But if you've ever cruised with Carnival or other places too, do it. Diamonds International always gives you a little charm if you go into their store. So got little fish this trip. I think it was the sombrero was the other place. Mazatlan does not have a Diamonds International, so go figure. But I need to put those on my charm bracelet. Again, Diamonds International is, is not Pandora. These are definitely cheapos, but they're fun to collect. And you get one from all the different ports pretty much. There's only a few that don't have them. So these are my not Pandora pieces that I have in here just from cruising that I wear on my trips sometimes when I'm, you know, I wear these on formal nights and to shows and stuff, but I wear these around the ship or when I get off the ship and it does not bother me if I lose one, I guess, because I can just get another one for nothing. But as far as the actual jewelry box goes, you have these four little holes. You have the big one and you have these two places for earrings or um, rings. So I keep a couple rings in here. Again, when I go off the ship, you know, if you're not clumsy and losing things like me, then maybe you don't have to worry about this, but I don't wear good jewelry off the ship. So I keep things like these little inexpensive rings in here to wear when I get off the ship. I leave my good Pandora and my wedding rings in the safe. And then I have some, these are Kate Spade actually, they're not Pandora. Um, nicer earrings in here for dinners and shows. These are inexpensive. But these are all the terms that I got in port. So we are going to go over those. So this little cubby is the charms that I got at Puerto Vallarta. And this cubby is the charms that I got in Cabo. So I hope that you guys liked my little jewelry box. I'm very excited that I got it since you can't get it in the U.S. I do believe it is typically a gift with purchase in Mexico. I'm not sure about New Zealand or Australia, which are the other two places I've seen it. I know in the UK you can purchase it. Um, I think it's like 30 or 40 euros or something. So if you know someone in the UK, you may be able to get a hold of one um, that way. But I got mine in Mexico for a gift with purchase. It was these four charms I bought and then I got this box for free. So let's look at the charms. I did get this. Okay, I've dropped this guy like five times, so I hope I'm not scratching him. I picked up another one of these Muranos. If you've seen any of my videos recently, I now have four of them. He was on sale for $30. There's the Hallmarks. And it's just, I don't own that many Muranos. These four, and then these rose gold, or like blush ones. I'm not a big Murano person, but I love these. I think they're just literally the prettiest Muranos Pandora's ever made. So when they had this one on sale for $30, I just, I had to get it. And then I got this one. So this is the Minnie Mouse button charm and it has CZs all around it. I've been playing with the idea of starting a Disney themed bracelet and this was one of the ones I wanted for that. Um, I don't remember if it's retired, but I, I haven't seen it for sale in a long time. I think it's retired. I'll Google it and I'll put it up on the screen. But they had it on the 50% off sale, so I bought it. This little guy is retired, so I ended up getting him instead of the Guadalupe or the Viva Mexico. It's the little palm tree. He is retired. There is a new palm tree. This one has CZs all the way around the bale, and the new one has little coconuts on the palm tree. There's the hallmarks. I do really like him. I just, I just never picked him up for the first, first couple cruises I got. First couple cruises, I got the little cruise ship and I got the little dolphin and the little turtle and this little guy just snuck by me. So 
Yeah, and him for Puerto Vallarta. And then last but not least, I had really want, wanted this one. And it kind of came into the sale and then kind of left before I ever had a chance to buy it. And now you can't get it in the U.S. Um, maybe you can soon. Maybe it was just sold out for a minute. But it is the little watering can and shovel. And it is so cute. I don't think he's discontinued. So I think he was just sold out. But he definitely has the hallmarks on. Okay. I need to get better hands. This side of the bale. And he has a little yellow flower here. I'm going to try to show you. But my favorite part is the opening of the watering can is a heart. And he is just so sweet. Like, so much detail. I love the little shovel. I love that they're together. I love how they hang. Mom and I did a lot of gardening last summer um, for my first house. We really, like, if you've watched any of my gardening videos, we put in an entire garden. It was it was a lot of work and it was a lot of fun. We, we really enjoyed it. And gardening is one of my mom's like favorite, favorite, favorite pastimes. So I really wanted this to represent that. And I also wanted the little watering can with the flowers, which I found in Cabo. So I bought both gardening charms that have been sold out in the U.S. I was super excited. Mom did not think I needed both of them, but she was wrong says Pandora on this side. I love, there's the hallmarks. I love the butterfly. I love all these flowers. I love the bottom dangle. It says bloom and grow. He's just, he, he's just, he reminds me of like the enchanted, where is it? The enchanted teapot, that whole collection, all the details on this. And I thought, that he would be pretty opposite kind of the, not opposite, but the, the flowers on the Mary Poppins bag are very reminiscent that they would coordinate pretty, but he's actually going to go opposite my little Turkish coffee pot, or as I say, Indian teapot, because he looks like the Indian teapots my best friend's mother-in-law was using. But there is the watering can. This one, if you saw my Benbridge order, I had ordered from Benbridge and they canceled it. So when I saw this for sale in Cobb, I was like, I'm buying the Golden Snitch. And it was 50% off. It was the last piece I needed for my Harry Potter bracelet. I'm so excited because I was, I was very upset when they told me they didn't have it. And my order was canceled. It says Pandora on the back of this snitch there. So... I can't wait to put that bracelet together and I'll show you guys what it looks like. But here is the only like Mexico exclusive charm I bought. And it says Los Cabos. Let's see if we can't get it without the camera reflection. There we go. Has the little marlin there. I wish it had been like a whale or a sea otter. Um, sea lion because those were everywhere but it is a marlin or a swordfish and we actually saw one of those in the port as well which was quite amazing he was not swimming around he was definitely caught um three gentlemen were holding him up quite triumphantly they were very excited it was still really cool to see so I was Still excited to get an exclusive one. It says Cabos on it. And that is my little haul and my little jewelry box. So let me know if um, I didn't cover anything. I think I showed you everything in here about this jewelry box if you wanted to get one. But there you go. If you have any questions about any of the ports or about any of the ships, um, let me know. And if you'd like to see any other videos about Pandora on cruises specifically, let me know and I will see if I can't make any. But in the meantime, I hope you liked this video. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your mom, show your dog. I will see you in the next video. Bye!